All right, looks like we are on. Hello, everybody. Slightly different angle here for those of you that are in the quilt club and typically see me uh, kind of from this side of the studio, but I am running a little late on some projects I need to do before we leave tomorrow. So let me just give everybody a couple more seconds to kind of log on and then we'll start chatting. Let me fix my windows here. Okay. Let's see. There's always a little bit of a delay, but hey, Susie. Hey, Carla. See a lot of very familiar names. <laughs> hey, Ruby. Ooh, I see some of your some really cold climates. Idaho, Chicago, yikes, North Idaho. All right. Hey, Indy Kitty. She says, I love you to pieces. I adore watching you do projects. I wish I had a sewing machine. Ooh. We got to get you a sewing machine, girl. Have you checked, like, um, if you live in the United States, Craigslist is a good place, or even the um, Salvation Army and stuff like that. You can get sewing machines either at yard sales or estate sales or the Salvation Army and stuff. Or, I mean, I've seen machines before for 5 to $20. So that, I would say, is definitely, especially if it's an older machine and it's all metal, that would be, if it's considering it's in, in decent working order, then that would be a great buy. And a good machine to get started with, you know, to start off with the basics. Ooh, Julie's in Maine. Yikes. Pat in snowy Michigan. Hey, everybody. Carla's asking for a new headband tutorial. This right here, you know, a bunch of people have been asking me about these wraps. This is literally like just stretch knits that I have. Sometimes I'll see them like even at Joann's, just like in the remnant section. It doesn't matter really how wide it is because if it's a, a thin kind of stretch knit, it'll just like bundle up on itself. So it doesn't have to be really thin. I, I actually like the ones that are a little bit wider. And whatever the length is, I literally just like wrap. I'm going to do a tutorial one day where I'm just like, here's the fabric. <laughs> Twist it in the front to give it like a little turban knot. And then I don't even tie a knot. You can see I just tuck it under the first initial ones. And it stays super nice and tight. I actually wear it like this to the gym. I'll use like cotton knits and, and jersey like that to help absorb some of the sweat and stuff. And I don't even have to tie a knot. And I do all kinds of crazy stuff at the gym and it doesn't come out. But I'll have to do a little tutorial on that. Kathy says she's headed next week to Colorado for Christmas. And we are actually headed to Colorado tomorrow. My children have never seen snow. Hence the neck warmers that I'm making for them literally right now. Um, we're leaving in the morning, but I told my husband, you know, I, I can make a couple of these. We've made the little fleece beanie hats that I have tutorials for. If you guys have seen those, um, I have a video tutorial. Just type in, uh, fleece hats with ear flaps on YouTube and that will pop up and they come down like that. So they keep your ears all bundled. So we have several of those. Uh, but I just wanted to double up on some fleece and I just installed snaps on the back of it. So it's just going to, on me, it's going to be super tight, but. I'll show you for my kids. I mean, even with one snap, it's just my daughter doesn't do really good with like scarves and things that come off or like, you know, like it needs to stay on her. So on me, this is a little bit snug, but of course you definitely want to put it on the side that it stretches. You know, you don't want to go in the other direction because fleece stretches a little bit, but on the crosswise grain is where it's going to stretch the most. But even like that with just one snap at the top will help, you know, even for the kids, they'll be able to like... <laughs> Put it over their mouths if they get, if it's too much for them. Um, so I'm just making these little quickies, a couple of them, at least three or four or so, so we can take them. And I know as soon as my husband sees them, he's going to want to snatch it up. Um, Wanda's asking if Allie got her pillow back. Yeah, she got her pillow back, girl. She came in here today and snatched it up. Um, my daughter is sewing all kinds of projects, and um, she lets me use her stuff to, like, show it to people. And then she, like, demands that she has it back in her stash of her projects because she worked hard on that stuff. <laughs> um, so Sandy's asking if you can share patterns from my YouTube videos. Uh, totally. I mean, if it's a free YouTube video tutorial, you can share it with whoever you want. You can forward it in emails. You can post it on your Facebook page or other people's Facebook pages. You can do all that for sure. The only thing um, that's copywritten is like instructions. So like you can't forward the video or, or rip it off of YouTube and then claim that it's you, which really you can't because it's me on camera. So that's the cool thing about video, that even when people try to steal your work, people know that it's not them because 
it's you, right, on camera versus just like typed up instructions. Um, ooh, Mel says that she's watching me and doing some big stitch hand quilting. Thanks for bringing that up, Mel. So big stitch hand quilting, for those of you that don't know, is this kind of big stitch, these big stitches that you see here. If you haven't been on my YouTube channel or maybe you're not a subscriber yet, uh, there's been two videos, one last week and another one went up today. We are going to be making some more of these like mini quilts because I'm kind of in the process of revamping my studio. So I took down a bunch of the stuff that I didn't want on the walls and I'm going to uh, fill them up with a bunch of mini quilts. And I thought I might as well do tutorials on the different blocks that I do. And I think it's a great way for beginners to jump into quilting too because you don't have to make a massive quilt. You can make one block at a time and we're going to turn this one little block into a mini quilt. So the tutorial for this block went up last week. Uh, it's a turn style block. And um, it's on my YouTube channel. You'll see it there as one of the latest ones that's been uploaded. And then the video that went up today, I taught you how to layer it. We're turning it into a proper quilt, uh, making it into a quilt sandwich. So we have the quilt top, a layer of batting, right? The fluff that gives it the body and the warmth if it were uh, a quilt that you would be wrapping yourself in. And then the backing fabric. And then I showed you how to baste the layers together so they hold nice and flat and you don't get any puckers or pleats on the back. And then I showed you how to go in and do these big stitches, okay? You can see where the red is, it kind of like puffs out because the stitches that are echoing around the red patchwork pieces, it's compressing all three layers, including the fluff of the batting. So where it's not stitched down or compressed, it kind of pops out. So it's a really cool way to add a little texture. And people think that if you have to hand sew it or hand quilt that it's going to take forever and it's super annoying and blah, blah, blah. It's super fun. This is not going to take you more than 10 minutes to quilt, even if it's your first time. You can do some really big stitches. I don't do really huge, huge ones, but those are still big. I mean, they're not uh, as small as like traditional Amish style quilting, but I kind of just like take chunks in the fabric and go, go, go until it's all done. Okay. So yeah. So then there's going to be another video after this one, and then I'll show you how to square up all the edges. We'll trim everything down to size. Then we're going to take measurements so you know how to make your own quilt binding uh, when you're working with, you know, basically, it doesn't matter what size project. I'll show you how to take the proper measurements uh, and make your quilt binding. We're going to attach it. And then I'm going to show you how I hang my mini quilts on the wall because you can see that they're flat up against the wall. They're not, there's no rods. There's no push pins on the corners of them. And it's literally a super inexpensive and cool way to hang them up where it doesn't ruin your wall and it doesn't ruin the quilt. So, I mean, when I get to that video, I think people are going to freak out and like love it and be like, why didn't I think of that? Uh, it's my favorite way. I even, I started hanging them off like that years ago with mini quilts because they weren't that heavy, but I have quilts hanging inside my house, like on the wall, like a bigger quilt, which is obviously heavier with the same method and it hasn't fallen yet. So <laughs> I'm excited to share that with you guys. Hey, Rita from Hawaii. All right. Uh, let me see. Kate is asking uh, for suggestions, purchasing zippers for the little triangle zip pouches. Um, we use uh, Zip It on Etsy. And I think if you use the coupon code, give me a second, let me double check before I say this and it's on record. Um, I have a coupon code for like Crafty Gemini fans. So if you use it, give me a second. I just want to make sure it's the right code that I'm going to give you. Yeah. So for 10% off of your Zip It orders, it's, um, if you just go to zip it dot, so Z I P I T dot Etsy dot com, uh, and you use the coupon code crafty Gemini 10, and that's a, a capital C for crafty, capital G for Gemini, and then the number 10 all together in one word, you'll get 10% off. So we often will use them to get our, our zippers. For different projects and she sells bundled packs assorted colors and all that kind of stuff so if you're watching this video go ahead and go to zipit.etsy.com and you can use a 10% off discount code crafty gemini 10 with a capital c and a capital g and actually in the description box of this video live stream whether you're catching it live or you're watching the recording there's a link that's going to take you to a page that i have where anything that i'm mentioning so like we were talking about this quilt blog there's a link there for the first tutorial on how to make the block. There's a link there for the second tutorial on how to baste it and hand quilt it. Everything that I'm talking about here, I'll include links. That way, if you're catching the recording or you're on your phone or commuting or whatever, you'll be able to go back and see everything that you heard 
or that you watched me talk about in the video will be linked right there for you to access. So I will go ahead and act and um, add the zip it link with the discount code for people to take advantage of. Um, I think that will be cool. And actually, I'm on the page right now, so let me quickly just add it. So those of you that are joining in, uh, you can catch that too. Like if you just click on the link, it'll take you to the page. And in a second, I'll have it updated for you. Crafty Gemini 10. All right, so that's been updated. So that's there. And then, let's see. Was that a pickle jar? Who's asking? Everybody, people always are like, is that moonshine? And I'm like, really? At the gym? No. Um, just water. We just, you know, live on a farm. So we use our mason jars for everything. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three. Miranda says she just got a Juki 2010 Q, which is that machine there. Uh, thanks for your review. It helped her decide from Saskatchewan. Hello from very far away up there. Canada. <laughs> That's awesome. That machine is a workhorse. You'll love it. Uh, Ruby says she can't wait for the embroidery classes. Girl, you don't need my embroidery classes. You're a professional, Miss Ruby. Ruby has like, I don't know, a 10 or 12 needle fancy, super fancy embroidery machine. Uh, let's see. Uh, Shayla Thompson says, hey, I've seen a lot of your videos, but I wanted to know if you have any videos on making an embroidered handbag. So it depends on what kind of a handbag you're looking for. I have a tutorial that walks you through step by step on a little, like a tote bag that has some hand embroidered embellishments on it. But as we get into 2017 and I start doing more uh, machine embroidery tutorials and projects, I'll be featuring some of them in my uh, handbag projects as well. Okay. Seriously, Susie's like, Ruby could teach a class. Ruby's a pro. Ruby can do all the fancy fabrics, the super stretchy stuff. She does t-shirts. We love Ruby. Um, Alana says she can't wait for the hanging technique. Trust me, it's the bomb. It's the bomb. Um, Val says, how do I look so good? I look like a train wreck. Girl, no, it's the lighting. I don't have anything on. I look a hot mess. Um, but I'm telling you, for me, like, I feel like whenever I pull up my hair into like a ponytail, it like makes me look like, hello, I'm awake. <laughs> if my hair was down, I'd look like a zombie. Promise. Promise. Uh, Gemini something is asking any more quilt retreats. Absolutely. So that's a good question. After the new year, we will be releasing the, uh, we're, we're planning for three retreats next year. We have the dates and they're going to be themed this go around. So we're going to be doing one, uh, a, a garment sewing technique. Then we'll have a handbag making tech, uh, or, a garment sewing retreat, excuse me, uh, uh, one that's going to feature handbags and handbag techniques, and then another one that we're going to do more sewing and quilting stuff, uh, like gift-giving ideas and things like that. So after January 1st, if you want to be in the loop of all these notifications, make sure, again, that you use the link in the description box below. That page on my website will say, like, look through the bullet points, and there's one that says um, sign up. Uh, for Crafty Gemini e-newsletter and that's where you want to enter your email address so you can be added to uh, all the email notifications of when uh, new stuff goes on, retreat dates and things like that so you can get on it because y'all know my retreats sell out super quick. Uh, Antonia is asking about the curriculum that I use to homeschool my kids. Okay, so we don't use a curriculum. <laughs> we unschool. So it's like a free-for-all. We don't really follow a set curriculum. Um, so it's more like child led learning. So I don't really have an answer for the curriculum thing because we don't actually follow a curriculum, but, uh, that's the answer to that. Uh, let's see. Ooh, from LA. Uh, Shannon says she likes the idea of a garment retreat. Oh, good. Some of you do. Carla says she's in for the garment retreat. If y'all come to the garment retreat, Carla's probably going to be there because she's like this super quick getting her spots and she makes the cutest, most amazing clothes. She's like a super pro. Uh, and that's Carla. She lives down in Miami. <laughs> so Little Miss Clay has a question for me. She says, what was your favorite project that you have made? Hmm. I don't really have a, a, fav a favorite project, you know, because I don't. A lot of people think that I'm kind of like an artist or, you know, like I'm. I don't really think of myself as an artist. I'm a maker. Like I like to make things that can be used. So I look at things, you know, all the projects that I make 
I look at it kind of from that perspective. Yeah, it helps that I'm working with pretty fabrics and with cool machines. But for me, it's the idea of making something functional and practical that somebody can use for something. You know, I'm not really like an artist e. So for me, it's not so much about the project. It's about the challenge, uh, like overcoming some new technique or trying something different or maybe kind of conquering something that I didn't think that I could do. You know, and then I'm like, oh, that was easy. Next, move on to the next challenge. For me, it's more about the challenge of the process and of um, kind of advancing my techniques and skill set. But that was a good question. Let's see. Um, Jerry's asking, how do I document their progress for the state? So for the kids, they're enrolled in a charter school. Um, it's like an umbrella school. So you enroll them in that and then you homeschool, unschool. It's like this long process. But that's in the state of Florida, that's, that's what we can do. Uh, let's see. Oh, Heidi from Pensacola. Howdy, neighbor up there in the panhandle of Florida. All right. Um, bu -bu -bu. Who's going to QuiltCon? Oh, let's see. Mary's going to QuiltCon. So QuiltCon, for those of you that don't know, is the national kind of slash international conference for the Modern Quilt Guild. And um, they started doing it now every year, one on the West Coast, one on the East Coast. So this year, it was in Pasadena, California. I was there. I went to that one. And then in 2017, so like in a couple of months, February, it's going to be in Savannah, Georgia. So those of us that live on the East Coast are like super excited that it's really close. It's literally a three-hour drive for me door to door. So I will definitely be at QuiltCon. I'm not sure in what capacity yet, but I shall be there. So if you see me, people, say hi. I love to meet real humans in real life. Uh, Raylin says she likes my nails. Why, thank you, thank you, thank you. Jessica said, is asking if the garment retreat would be kid-friendly. So none of my retreats are kid-friendly because they're kind of like you stay over the whole time. The only kids that show up and then we kick them out at the beginning are my kids because they just like to get there and like help people to their rooms. They're like, room 12? I'll show you where your room is. And they go and help people with their luggage and show them where their room is. And then my husband takes them home. But because the retreats are four days, uh, staying over at the retreat center and everything, um, they're not like... They're not really family friendly. It's like for whoever the retreater is to go there, get away from the world, and literally be like 24-7 for four days. We just sew in our pajamas and munch on snackies and dance and listen to music and sew. And sew some more. Until the wee hours of the night. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Ooh, we got a lot of questions up in here, but let me make sure that I talk about everything that I need to talk about. Um, just a heads up and to catch people up, because I know those of you that are catching me on YouTube... Uh, may not even know I have a Facebook page or a website or a newsletter or anything that's going on. So again, there's a link in the description box below for those of you that are just joining us. That link will take you to a page on my website. And there I have listed everything that we're kind of talking about in this uh, live chat. So if you're watching the recording, if you hear me talk about this block and you're like, ooh, she didn't say where I could watch it, the link is on that page, okay? Everything is included there for you. So for those that don't know, I have a new fabric. My first ever fabric collection is called Dominicana. Uh, it's by Timeless Treasures. And let me see if I can grab something here. I have a video. If you go back to my last, uh, the video I did in September, it's an update video, and I go through and I show you every single print in the collection. There's 21 different fabrics. 16 of them are prints, and the other five are kind of blenders and uh, two solids. And so for those of you that maybe, you know, you see the fabrics, and you're like, eh, they're cute, but what can I do with it? Here is one of my bags. Um, another project that I did this year is a video bag of the month club, and we're actually done for this year. It's still going. Anybody can join anytime because you never lose access to the, to the courses and the patterns. But we did five bags, August, September, October, November, and this one went up on December 1st. This is my Metro tote bag, and I used one of the larger scale prints from my collection. This is one of the prints from my collection. Let me not get it too close because let me tell you, I've been using this thing every day, and it's like already dirty and stained. I'm just like, damn, I got to make another one. My husband's like, wear and tear, wear and tear. <laughs> I'm like, but it's so cute. I want to wear it. So, Yeah. Uh, the blue fabric that you see, or that you see here, this accent fabric. Look how cool it looks. It's um, an eco-friendly kind of. They call it like a vegan leather because it's harvested from cork trees in Portugal. It's actually cork fabric, and I bought it in navy for this project. You can see, super super cute, very chic looking. I teach people, you know, how to install the hardware, the rivets, 
all that stuff. And I like to show also how some of the prints in my collection and even fabrics that you have in your stash, if you have large scale prints like this, you know, if you chop it up really little, you're not going to be able to make out like the, the prettiness of the large scale floral. So these prints work really well for projects like this, you know, that let you use a huge chunk. Okay. Tiffany says that's dope. Thanks, girl. Hey. <laughs> it has kind of like a vintagey flair, right? Like a 60s flair or something uh, to it. But it's cool because it's long, so you can fit tablets. You can fit uh, like netbooks and smaller ones in there. You can even enlarge the pattern pieces and make it a little bit bigger and fit a, a, a proper laptop in there. But yeah, so this club is still going on. Again, if you're interested in the Bag of the Month Club, you can sign up anytime. You never lose access to the video courses, and it's step-by-step -step every single bag, and there's five handbags there. For those of you that know about it and haven't signed up because you're waiting just to sign up for one individual class, after January 1st, the five bags featured in the Bag of the Month Club are going to be available just to sign up for one class at a time. So like if you only like this one, you can just sign up for this one. They're going to be 15 bucks. You get a PDF pattern, printed instructions, and like I think almost all of them have over two hours worth of video footage step by step uh, on how to make every single part of every bag. Okay, so that's uh, an option for y'all to check out if you're interested in the bags. Nancy says she loves that bag. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, this is like my go-to bag. I'm going to have to wash it. The cool thing about the cork, too, is that it's like stain resistant and water repellent and stuff. But, of course, you know, I use the fabric that has white background. So, like, any little thing is going to show on there. But that's all right. That's all right. I got more. I got more of it. Um, so that's just one of the bags. But I wanted to show you that print. Um, you can check out my fabric collection online. I'm not going to go through all the different prints now because it's already, like, 822. Um... But just so you know, I do have a fabric collection. Contact your local quilt shops. If you want them to carry it, tell them about the collection. It's with Timeless Treasures. You can find it online. I've included links on where you can find it for those of you that want it. Again, if you're just joining us and you want to be in the loop of everything that's going on and all like the new additions, new tutorials, new clubs and stuff that I'm doing in 2017, use the link that's included in the description box of this video. And on that web page that it's going to take you to, you'll see everything that I'm talking about. So sign up for my email newsletter. Um, the embroidery, some of you have been talking about embroidery. Ooh, Indie Kitties has a question. We're talking fleece here. So she's asking if I have pet projects. And I actually do. I have like a little, I have, uh, what do I have? I have like a little pet bandana project that I did for the goats and the dogs. I have a fleece, uh, like little sweatshirt thing for the dogs um, that we made. So you can look those up. Like if you're ever looking for a tutorial, uh, to see if I have one, let's say, just go to YouTube and type in what you're looking for and right after just type in Crafty Gemini to see if it like pulls up both, you know, based on the keyword. So type in uh, fleece dog coat Crafty Gemini and it'll pop up for you. Okay. Ooh, Susan says she loves the bag club. She's learned so much. Awesome. 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 I'm glad to hear it. And I'm just trying to make sure here. Okay. Some of you are saying you're having problems with it freezing. It shows me I'm fully connected. So you may want to either log out and log back in um, this is being recorded as it is live, so if you have to leave, you can stop it. As soon as you come back to it, you'll see it. There's not going to be like any upload time. It's already posted to my channel whenever you jump in. Uh, let's see. Julie wants me to tell you about the sewing room renovation. Well, I'm not done yet, but when I am, I'm going to do like a full-on video tour and go through like telling you every single IKEA thing that I did. Speaking of which... Uh, I sent out an email newsletter today, so those of you that are not on the newsletter, remember, go use the link in the description box, add yourself to that list. Uh, I sent out multiple pictures of the sewing room and different changes, and I included some info there, but there will be an in-depth uh, video tour coming in the new year once I'm done with everything. I just have so many projects, and now we're leaving town tomorrow. We're going skiing in the Colorado mountains, and my children have never seen snow. I've never gone skiing before, but... I'm hoping that, you know, my hardcore gym workouts will hold me up. Even if I fall, I shouldn't be, like, too dead. <laughs> um, <clears throat> let's see. Ooh, we got a lot of Canadians. Shannon is it lives in L.A., but she's from Coral Springs. Hey, girl, I'm from Miami. I grew up in Miami. I know Coral Springs. Um, let's see. Ooh, Mary Lou has a question. She says, a group at church wants to sell things for charity. Any ideas on that? So uh, if you do a search on YouTube, for just type in Crafty Gemini Beginner Sewing Projects, 
I have a whole video playlist with a ton of like little knick-knacky kind of small projects. Uh, little organizers, little pouches, and little things that everybody really likes a lot for this kind of like church bazaar, little craft things to raise money for different charities and things like that. So check out that video playlist. Just look up like Crafty Gemini Beginner Sewing Projects and scroll through. You'll see a ton of different projects. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let me check my connection, but I'm plugged in directly. I'm not even using Wi-Fi, so I should be good to go here. Yep, it looks like I'm still on and good. Thank you, thank you, y'all. We're going to have a great trip skiing. I'm excited, but again, <laughs> neck warmers. I'm busting out all the little fleece hats. What I still need to get are, um, I'm going to see if I whip them up some little mittens, double, double layer fleece mittens just here. And then when we get there, we'll get some of those. I guess people said that they sell like at any local store they sell like some little hand warmers that you like shake and it produces heat clearly i live in florida so i don't know anything about that but um we're gonna get some of those for sure <laughs> and they have like ski suits and i mean uh snow suits and all that stuff so they should be good with multiple layers i got them like a uh, dry fit kind of um like under armor stuff to keep them dry underneath so we should be good hopefully uh, why are fabric beads is saying so excited that I can sign up for your back class. Yeah, the, my stuff, when it's an online video, it's going to be there indefinitely. And you can log in. We have people that have made all the bags. Like some people would make the bags like right when it would go up. Like it would go up on the first of the month and people like by evening time would be posting pictures of the finished bag. So for me, that makes me feel great because, you know, you know, I know that the step by step videos help them get right through it super quick and they were able to do it. Hi, Yvonne from Venezuela. Saludos. Uh, let's see. Um, but, but, but some people are saying that the chat is freezing up. We might have a lot of people on here. I can't even see how many people are on. Um, but let me see. Nope. My thing still shows connected. So I think we should be good. And remember this is being recorded. So for, if for any reason you miss any bit of it, you can always go back. The whole recording will be posted there. Everything as I show, you know, that I'm still connected on here. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. Well, oh my gosh, the chat is like flying by, you guys. I can't even like keep on. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Um, Sarah McKay is asking, am I going to do any more cruise retreats? So that cruise retreat, I didn't plan it. Um, the quilt shop that hosted it, you know, they invited me. They basically, they hired me to teach on it. So if I get hired again to do, you know, and they invite me on to teach or something like that, I would definitely consider it because it was a good time. Whoa, Kathy says at one point there was almost, is that really? There's almost 500 people on here? No wonder. Yowzers. Hi, everybody. Do I look human today? My dreads are like falling all over the place. Oh, I need to see. Have y'all seen this thing? I've seen something pop up on Facebook and one of my friends sent it to me. It's like a crocheted beanie, but it has a hole in the top for your bun. I was like, that's super hot. Because like if I make the hats, you know, the big bun, it won't flatten out. So then the hat is like lifted back. But I was like, you like stretch it over a big bun and then everything else is like covered. I'm like, I need to make myself one of those for sure. If anybody has a good uh, pattern for that, send it to me. Because I've only seen a picture. I mean, I could whip it up, but it'd be fun to follow an easy pattern. That'd be easier for me for sure. Hey, Mindy. Thank you. She just wanted to say, hey, Mindy was on the cruise with us. We had a blast rocking our little leggings and comfy pants and stuff sewing late at night. Ooh, Melinda finished her Kelly crossbody bag. So Melinda's in the in the bag of the month club. And she finished that, so that's awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Let me see what else I have to chat about here since it's already 8:30. Uh, there's gonna be some new tutorials coming in 2017. One of the new things that I'm doing um, is that I've created a uh, form for y'all to fill out. Remember, if you're just joining us, there's a link in the description box below this video. Uh, you can click on it and on that page, look for the one that says. Uh, submit your tutorial suggestions. So I'm going to try something new this year. I'm going to be taking tutorial suggestions. It asks you for your name, your email address, and what specific tutorial you'd like to see me do in 2017. And as I pick from there, I will feature and give a shout out to whoever's idea I chose to do as a tutorial. So that will be, I think, a fun and cool new feature and will help me kind of gauge what type of things y'all want to see from me um, coming in 2017 and going forward. Since I do so many different things, um, I want to offer a good variety of projects, okay? Uh, let's see. So there's garment sewing tutorials coming uh, and patterns and things. 
and we are going to do uh, machine embroidery. There is a, a, a link there too, the same way you sign up for my email newsletter. There's a link to sign up for the machine embroidery newsletter, which is where I'm going to be reaching out to you specifically for machine embroidery because obviously not everybody cares about machine embroidery. But I know a lot of people have machines in boxes and they're like super intimidated to just like open the box and use the machine. So that is where I shall come in and help you guys out. Oh, Linda, good. She says more slicer tutorials. I have so many slicer designs. Oh, I just have to make more quilts so that I can film them and show you all how to use them. Uh, Sarah says, do I make most of my patterns? I do. I design all my patterns and I make all my own quilts and I quilt all my own quilts except for one that I did for a demo. I sent it off to Canada because I didn't have time to do all three. So I sent it to my friend Tammy. Hey, Tammy. I don't think she's on, but whatever. <laughs> uh, Cindy says she wants another bag of the month club. There is going to be another bag of the month club coming 2017. So definitely look out for that if you're interested. Um, we had a really great time making these five, and this these five bags are still up for anybody that wants to do it. All right, last thing I wanted to talk about, I think, is talking about going into 2017, I need to get my life a little more organized. I know people think I'm like the bomb with time management. Not really. I am a Gemini. I'm super scatterbrained. I'm like all over the place. It drives my husband crazy, but that's, I mean, the mind of a creative. What can I say? That's just how it works. So... Here is what I'm going to be using for 2017, and you'll see it in the link uh, when you use the link in the description box below. My homegirl, Stephanie, the designer and creator of the Quilters Planner. Have y'all seen this thing? I got mine last year, and they have revamped it and done such a fabulous job with the one this year. This thing is the bomb. I know it says quilters planner, but if you sew or you craft or crochet, I think it would still come in handy. And even if you are a newbie to quilting. So if you're thinking about trying it, fabulous. Peep the cover. It's a hard one now. It's not like a paper one anymore that rips off, you know, because it's this stuff is going to get a lot of wear and tear. You see how chunky it is? So this is the big one, the regular one. And then this year they came out with a mini to supplement it. I have my gel pens on deck. I got colored pencils. I got stickers. I'm the type of person that needs, um, like my to-do list has to be written out because I like cross things out and it makes me feel like I've done something for the day. So Quilters Planner 2017, this is what we're going to be doing. She's giving um, my followers a ridiculous discount. You're not going to find it nowhere else. So if you need a new agenda, like a new planner to keep track of your life, your work, and your creative and crafty projects, holler at this because it's a $10 off coupon which is ridiculous, I'm telling you. Nobody else has um, a discount like that for, the, for this. Obviously, she's the creator, so it's there. The link is in the description box below, and the code is there for you to use if you want to grab it. So it's broken up by month, okay? So you got the big monthly thing, and then you got your to-do list. Now check out what, let me put it like this so y'all can see. Every single week for the whole year of 2017, there is a block of the week, and there's a free motion quilting design of the week. So if you're someone who's like a beginner, a newbie, one block a week, anybody can do that. Easy peasy. Judy says she loves her quilters planner. Kimmy says she wants one. I'm telling you, this thing is the bomb. Oh, Julie said she was thinking about getting it every week, okay? This is great because if you've ever purchased a quilt pattern out there, you know, it'll walk you through the pattern, like how to make it. And then at the end, it'll just tell you like, but. Put the layers together, quilt as desired. And I know a lot of people often will need some type of starting point for the inspiration of like, okay, how should I even kind of start to quilt this thing? Should it be straight lines or should it be like super densely quilted loops? Like sometimes people need that idea. And so again, every single week, look how cute. So it's like exercises. Just, I think a lot of us, especially as women and if you're a mom and stuff, you're always trying to find like a little bit of me time. So I think if every week you can carve out some time to make like one block or even just play around on a quilt sandwich, look at that, how cute. All those pebbles. Pebbles ain't no joke, let me tell you right now. But it's fun to try. <laughs> um, and so every single week, and then you can see the date. I love having space and not being confined to just one specific thing. I can take up that whole page if I want to. There's some little stickers here that you can use. Uh, it says like a quilt show, quilt retreats vacation, guild meeting, stuff like that that you can use to kind of label the stuff here. $10 off coupon, I'm telling y'all, use the link, use the code, holler at that. March, okay, 
It's like, you know when you have a calendar? I had calendars before that had like cute quilts on them. Well, like it would stay on one month for the whole year. Like I would never look at it. But you're like, I want to look at it because I kind of want to be inspired by the color and the gorgeous designs. Look at this. Look at this. To be looking through here, talking about I got to pay bills, I got to do this. And they're like, ah, oh, take a moment for yourself. Enjoy a cute little quilt and some pretty images of quilts. Now hold on because this thing gets even better. So you have every month. Okay, you fill that in. Remember we said every week there's a quilt block and um, a free motion quilting design. Check this out. You buy the, the, the planner and you get 14 quilt patterns. So two, here are all the designers. I know a bunch of these people. Hey quilters. Two of the patterns are included in here. So I'll show you kind of how it looks. Look how cute. Okay, step by step, look at that. Color illustrations, like not even regular patterns are like legit like that. There's another one there. Super cute pattern. So there's two here. And then with the beauty of the internet, she has a link here that you access and that's where you get access to the remaining uh, patterns. But you can see with all the designers there, those are their faces and the quilts that they designed for it right next to it. So you can kind of scroll through and say, hey, you know, I like this little project. And they're not all quilts. Uh, Anne Marie here of Gen X Quilters has patchwork napkins. Um, there's a bunch of different ones, a pillow and stuff like that that you can look out for. You know, you don't always have to make a massive quilt. So you get those. In the back, you can keep tabs on your projects. This is what I'm going to use for like my tutorials. So you get to write the due date. I'll put like the air date of when I'll post it to my channel priority and then it has choices here for like has the fabric been chosen have you cut the patchwork pieces has it been pieced have you assembled it the back basted quilting and the binding so you can walk yourself through and kind of keep tags on all your UFOs okay Lenore says it's better than the Erin Condren seriously for crafty people it really would take someone who does this stuff to know you know she's a professional long arm quilter she's a designer and stuff like that and uh, for somebody who kind of likes to stay organized, I'm sure, you know, she came up with this fabulous thing. And it works because we can relate to it. Then you have these project planner pages. So notice the, um, I'm like looking at it backwards, but like the little graph paper. So you can like sketch out a block or a quilt design here and kind of fill in the information. If you um, need to match fabrics, just tape, take some washi tape, kind of tape your little swatches on there, take it with you to the fabric store, match things up. So it's like an ongoing uh, portfolio kind of of the projects that you're working on. And we all know if you sew either clothes or quilts, you're not working on one project at a time, okay? It has another some sheets here for important dates. And then it has a, oh, super cool for those of you that are like into Instagram and a lot of online swaps, a swap planner for all your little online quilt swaps. Isn't that cool? You write like the name of your part, your swap partner, when it's due, when you get to check in with them, who are you sending it to, uh, and stuff so you can keep track of all your swaps. I love that. That's such a quilty thing to do. All right. And then um, there's a reference sheet in the back. So a lot of, I mean, this is insane. Fabric yardage, cutting things, um, diagonal measurements of like half square triangles. How many squares can you cut from specific yards? So this is a really fun way to like design your own stuff, you know? And I'll show you back here. Cloud9 even put in their solid swatches in here so you can choose and design things. And then, of course, you have the graph paper in the back where you just basically design your own projects and things. So you can see this thing is ridiculous. It's like jam-packed, a little, a little uh, pocket in the back for you to put in things. So it's chunky. I mean, it's not little. But if you have a busy life, like kids, a job, bills, a household, a, a blog or like an Etsy shop or you just make a ton of stuff for charity this would be a great way to keep track of your life and your crafts all in one so there's a link in the description box below uh, the coupon code is gonna give you all ten dollars off okay that's for crafty Gemini followers so you you lucked out if you're catching this video either in the recording or in the live stream and then the mini I kind of like this idea at first I was like eh, what is it for you know because if I have everything in the big one what am I gonna use this for well, there's 80 pages in here and it's not dated. So this is like you take it and write in if you want, you know, transfer the info from here to here or just maintain kind of an ongoing daily to-do list that maybe you don't have to reference the big one. So I kind of like it now that I look at it and I'm kind of trying to schedule my stuff for the new year. Shopping list. And again, it's smaller. You can throw it in any little crossbody bag and take it with you when you're out. Take notes that then you know, specific dates, meetings, and things that then you can transfer to the main big one. So that's the mini, and she's selling it 
the big one by itself, like just the, the, the quilters planner, or you can do the bundle of both of them. So use the coupon code um, for the $10 off of whichever one you decide to grab. If you're still looking for a gift to give somebody, I mean, if they're crafty, you know, if they're going to use it uh, to keep track of their projects, that would be super hot. All right. Ooh, Kimmy says that she's asked for a quilters planner along with my fabric collection for her anniversary that's coming up after Christmas. That's awesome. Uh, Janice is asking what the little one looks like. I'll show you. Every page is the same. It's like daily planner. It has a shopping list on this side. And then here it has appointments, emails, call, errands. And then it says personal to-do list, work to-do list, and quilting to-do list. Okay? This just happens to be a quilter that created it. But if you crochet or you knit, it's the same idea. You know, it just is, is geared more towards um, a, a creative and crafty person that has to keep track of a gazillion projects <laughs> like most of us do. Okay? All right. So, um... Anita's asking how long the coupon is good for. Um, I don't have an expiration date on it right now, but I would just say if you want to get it, get it. You know, make sure that you use that because you won't be able to find a code like that um, anywhere else and use that link, okay? Uh, okay, Sarah, she says she's going to put her kids to bed now. Have a good night. Good night. All right, so we are just about going to get ready to get off of here. Again, the link is in the description box below. Check out the last two tutorials. If you're a newbie, you want to learn how to do some patchwork projects, we're going to turn these into mini quilts. So those freebie tutorials are up. Uh, I'm editing a couple of others. A new one is going to be going up just talking about the machine embroidery project that's coming up next. So if you're in the market for that, be on the lookout. And then, of course, sign up for my email newsletters and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss out on the new videos that are coming up. Okay. Uh, Linda says she doesn't see a link in the description box. So right where the date for the video is, it says click here for links to things I mentioned in tonight's live studio chat. And you'll see a link right there in blue. You can click on that. I'm going to um, post it right there for you, Linda, in the, in the chat since you're on here live. And you should be able to click on that just fine. Julie says come to Maine and the lobster dinner's on me. Girl, I might have to take you up on that because I love me some lobster. Uh, thanks, Karen. All right, so definitely, if you guys have ideas for uh, tutorial projects that you want to see on anything, anything that I do, uh, in, use the link and submit your tutorial suggestions. And if I pick your tutorial suggestion and I make the video on it, I will feature you in that video and give you a shout out. So that'll be fun uh, and a great way for me to kind of gauge what all you guys want to see from me. Other than that, I am going to let y'all go so I can get back to making some fleece neck warmers for my kids and husband and um, pack because we still haven't packed and we're headed to the Colorado mountains tomorrow. You can uh, catch me on social media because I'll definitely be posting pictures. That's going to be a sight to see us in snow. A lot, a lot of snow. My kids are not ready for that, <laughs> but it should be fun. So thanks again to everybody who joined me tonight. Remember this is recorded. If you're catching the recording, all the links and everything that I just talked about still applies to you. So check everything out, and I will keep you all posted on the next one. If you sign up for the email newsletter, you will get notifications when we do another one of these live chats. And next time I think I'll do a project, now that I have a kind of a cool system here set up for my sewing machine and stuff. And um, I will see you guys then. Take care.